everybody, this is Matt, and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to do something that I don't want to do, and I've never done it before, and we're going to film it, and you get to watch it in action. Um, so what we're doing today is we're going to attempt to put a compound radius on this neck with our radius sanding jig. Um, a lot of people have asked me, can your radius sander do a compound radius? And I'm like, I have no idea. We don't use a compound radius, so it's never occurred to me to try. But because we are going to be doing a live Q&A session about what is a compound radius and why we don't use them, I want to have some visual aids. So we thought, well, let's try to make one. So we have our, um, I have two necks here we're going we're gonna to test this out on. They're both strat style necks. They're not actual necks. They don't have truss rods. Um, but these were old units that I had laying around and we thought this would be a great test medium for this uh, test. So we got one of these guys chucked in here. I've got my uh, device set at 10 inch radius and 16 inch radius. And we're just going to see what happens. Now, because the radius changes from here to here, there's only one place where it's going to be 10 and only one place where it's going to be 16. So we've got the this, I don't know, down leg, I don't even know what you'd call it, this fixture piece here is going to be our 10 inch radius and it's directly under the nut. And that means that if you come out to here where it's 16, this should be where the fretboard ends. However, the fretboard is about an inch and a half away from there. So we won't actually get 10 to 16, I don't think. I don't know. Chris is, says he's about 99% sure this is going to work. And when he told me that, I thought he was going to say 99% sure it wasn't going to work. But anyway, let's just go ahead and, um, and try it, and we'll see what we come up with. Ready? calculations were correct, 10 inch radius should be right on, right about here. It actually looks pretty good. So that would mean that it should be quite a bit flatter here. And it is. Uh, we need the other, the other radius gauge. Let's check if they're straight. Looks pretty decent. So it's about 10 right here at the nut. It's about 12 right here. So in 8 inches it moved 2 inches. 
So that would mean that it should be 14 right about here, right? And it is. So what we have here, guys, we have done a 10 to about 15 inch compound radius on this neck. So the Grizzly radius sander absolutely, positively will do a compound radius for those of you who have to have a compound radius. So um, stick around because we're going to be doing some more videos about what a compound radius is, why you'd want to use it, and then make sure to join us when we announce our live Q&A on compound radius. We're going to talk all about it. Um, if you guys have any questions about what we did, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Um, if you appreciate content like this, you might want to check out our Patreon page and consider becoming a member. Um, even a dollar a month goes a long way to helping us bring you neat stuff like this. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching everybody. This is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching.